What's up YouTube, this is Tech Time Today, and I have for you the Cinebench CPU and OpenGL tests, so let's, let's start the CPU test right now. And this is running on my Intel Core i5-2500 based off of the new Sandy Bridge architecture that was released earlier this year. And I have it clocked at 4 GHz. It is a 4 core processor with no hyper threading so it is stuck at those 4 cores. Which likely will hinder it at this uh... in this benchmark because the CPU intensiveness is going to like having those extra threads. The more threads that it runs on the better this benchmark will run. So unfortunately something like a 990X would destroy my <laughs> i5-2500 in this benchmark but it is what it is you know the benchmarks are all fine and good but gaming is where you want to see the performance and I could pretty much perform equally with a 990X in gaming this is more like synthetic benchmark to see what would happen if the CPU is pushed all the way to the limit. And we're done now and as you can see the hyper threading did make a difference. The 960 although it is clocked lower and has a less efficient architecture outperformed my i5-2500 just by a little bit. So the hyper threading definitely made a difference there. So now let's try the OpenGL test. This is running on my GTX 560 Ti Super Overclocked Edition by Gigabyte. And I have this clocked at 1 GHz on the core. This clock speed enables me to get around GTX 570 performance, I'd say, in most games. And I've actually been able to equal a GTX 580 in some games. So this overclock is definitely pretty substantial over the stock clock of... 850 megahertz I believe maybe even less than that all right so we're just finishing up here and we scored just below the 5800 so as you can see this rig was a outperformed by two but that's to be expected considering those are probably rigs that cost thousands of dollars since they have professional grade graphics and CPUs with eight cores and 16 threads and the other one has a 12 core CPU so definitely outperformed my PC but definitely thousands of more dollars my PC so you could and it's not by much either so you can really see that a mid-range rig overclocked enough can perform with the high-end rigs fairly easily so maybe with your next upgrade or building your next rig from scratch you can focus more on cooling and get the high mid-range cards and cpus instead of getting the extreme highest end cpus that are a thousand dollars and gpus that are six hundred dollars i guarantee if you cool it if you cool it well and you overclock it enough, you will probably see around the same performance as that multi-thousand dollar rig, and you will probably save two to three thousand dollars. I can guarantee that. So, just giving you something to think about there. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to